Okay, great. Uh, we have Allison here from New Bedford High School who's going to share her uh, her college uh, path with us and, and talking about how she um, came to decide on the school that she's going to be attending in the fall. So Allison, how many um, schools did you apply to? I think about six or seven schools. Okay. All right. And what went into that decision process for you? So I, at the time, I didn't know if I wanted to actually go to Florida or stay locally mm -hmm. because I like the warm weather. Ah, I'm with you there. <laughs> but a lot of the really good business schools are in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. So I actually applied both places and I applied to a couple of the nicer business schools in Mass, some of the state schools, community college, and then I applied to a couple state schools in Florida that I liked. That's great. Now, were you able to do any college tours, any campus tours? Um, I did a few at some of the business schools in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. I went to Babson, Bentley, Bryan. I saw UMass Dartmouth, mm -hmm. uh, their Charlton, Charlton School of Business. So those are the schools I actually went to go see. Mm -hmm. And what was your thought when you went onto the campuses? Were you, uh, were you surprised at how you felt? Um, it was actually a lot different than I expected. So a lot of the schools I was researching, I thought they were like where I was going to end up going and applying mm -hmm. to. And after I saw some of the schools, they weren't really where I wanted to go. I didn't see myself like fitting in on that type of campus. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really like my thing. Like I thought the campus was too small or too big mm -hmm. or I didn't like what they had to offer the buildings. And it just wasn't initially like... I didn't love the campus. It wasn't where I wanted to pay to go 60 right. grand a year sure. for a year. Sure. And so those campus visits are so important. Um, absolutely. So you applied. Did you apply early to any schools? Um, I applied early action to UMass and Bryant University. Okay. So that's great because you apply early, but you get your decisions early as well. Yeah. But you still have until that May 1st deadline to make your final yeah. decision, which is great. So... Uh, you have how many schools now that you are you were kind of toying with that you received acceptance letters so from? So I got into Bryant University, Stonehill, um, UMass Dartmouth, BCC obviously <laughs> as an uh, easy backup choice. Mm -hmm. um, I got into University of Miami, University of Tampa, and Johnson and Wales. Oh, that's great! Congratulations. Thank you. A lot of hard work, I'm sure, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. So now we're coming down to the wire, right? Yeah. And um, have you made your decision, your final decision? So as of right now, as of right now, <laughs> I still have to put the money down, but I'm probably going to UMass Dartmouth. UMass Dartmouth. That's great. Great choice. So what is what is the criteria for making your decision? What are what's the most important thing? So a big thing for me was financial aid. Mm -hmm. But it was also um, being able to have a car on campus and somewhere I can work, mm -hmm. where a lot of my financial aid packages, I still needed a few grand a year. Mm -hmm. And I don't have that money like put aside for college, so I need to be able to work for that money. Mm -hmm. So a big thing for me was being able to have a car and transport to a job. So I have a job right now. So being able to go to UMass and commute to UMass gives me the opportunity mm -hmm. to continue work where I'm working and pay that off. That's great. That's great. So the financial aid package is definitely came into play. Yeah. And did you find that they varied quite a bit from school to yeah, school? Yeah, they did. Some mm -hmm. schools I only had to pay about eight grand. Other schools wanted thirty-five mm -hmm. grand. Some yeah. wanted five. So makes it a little easier, thing. right? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, that's great. So now, what are you looking forward to most in your upcoming um, first year of college? So UMass has a really good um, DECA program, mm -hmm. which is a big thing that persuaded me to go there. I did um, Nifty in high school, so I did the entrepreneurship. It was. Um, a business competition thing, mm -hmm. kind of like DECA. So that's something I want to continue in college. I like the business field. I tend to be very involved in it mm -hmm. as much as I possibly can. So that was a big thing for me with UMass. And they help you a lot. They t I loved their business school. I went in. It was all redone. Mm -hmm. They talked about how they put you in all the different classes so you can decide your concentration. So that was a big thing for me. That's great. And being involved your first year is so important, too, especially at a larger school. It helps you make friends. And Yeah. That's great. It was definitely right important in. as I want to live off campus, so mm -hmm. I want to be able to be involved. Right. That's great. That's great. Now, so you'll be working, and um, yeah, you're going to do a great job. Yeah, thank Sky's you. Sky's the limit. That's great. Okay.